What's something that you've done while horny and you regret it? When I was young I would ride this huge stuffed bear like a horse. Came out the shower and jumped on it naked, and it tickled my nuts so good I just came all over the bear. My first ever nut, I would rush home from school to tickle my balls, and just nut and nut and nut on this stuffed bear. Until one day it disappears. So I start humping my pillows the same way, and nutting on my pillows then sleeping on them like an animal. My brother walks in one day, shows me a porno mag then takes me to the computer and shows me a porn video. He goes, notice how they clean up after? Among other completely uncensored and straightforward sex talk. Years later we are all drunk at my parents for New Year's. And my brother brings it up, hey remember when you would fuck stuffed animals and pillows? I'm like, you guys knew? And they tell me how I would just leave the door open, and they have seen me just clapping bare and pillow cheeks. Not to mention the massive amount of cum stains and black stuffed animal fur. And how they would all laugh until my brother decided to give me the sex talk so my dumbass could figure out that stroking my dick was the proper way to masturbate and not tickled my little boy balls until completion sometimes I still think about it and it makes me shudder in embarrassment. Maybe 15 to 20 years ago, still living at home with siblings. I thought it would be a great idea to print off a bunch of pictures of close-up vaginas, pin them all over the wall in the downstairs washroom like some serial killer, and spend the day in my vagina room doing whatever. Evidently I left some in the print queue, and they finally printed later when my sister used the computer. All I remember hearing was her yelling oh god your vaginas are printing. Your. Vaginas. R. Printing. Never lived that one down. Mom was also upset about the holes in the bathroom wall. Not my experience, but my fiancé told me about the time when he was first learning about jacking off, he used toothpaste as lube to jack off. His reasoning was that it made your mouth tingle, so why not down there? LOL he said it was the worst decision of his life. Edit, my fiancé asked me to add that the toothpaste was the 90s Aquafresh with the different colors. He also thanks everyone for laughing in his misery. When I was 15 I had my first girlfriend and also my first times of sex with her. I asked my older brother for advice, like some secret tips. One were, she has to put two eucalyptus bonbons, don't know if you say bonbon in English too, in her mouth and suck my dick with them, so she halfway ate them and began to suck for like 10 seconds. It was the worst burning but simultaneously extreme cold feeling my dick had experienced. Needless to say we didn't have sex this evening. When she left I called my brother, he didn't live at my parents' home anymore, and told him about it to ask if we did anything wrong. I've never heard him cracking up like this again. Asked my husband to use the whip on me when I was on my knees. He has terrible aim. He literally whipped my pussy on accident, and it was unlike any kind of pain I'd ever felt, and I'd given birth three times. You know those silicon as things they have in sex shops for like $300? When I was in Montreal in my sophomore year of college, I tried to buy one. My debit card got declined, so I didn't buy it. I got a call from my dad that evening saying someone in Montreal must have stole it from me, and I had to do the talk of shame explaining that I really did do that. I'm imagining a raunchy yet wholesome Christmas morning where you unwrap your gift, and it's a silicone ass. You look over to your dad in glee and say ah dad. You remembered as he brightly smiles and lifts up his glass of cognac. Was in China, rode a train for two hours to meet a girl, didn't have sex, a terrible blowjob, she got tired after a minute then cried cause she missed her ex. A football game was on and had gotten a better TV. Mentioned that to an ex and offered to buy dinner from a place she liked. She ate the food like she hadn't eaten in three days and gotten food all over her face. Claims the food was that good. She goes to bathroom to wash and comes out naked. She spreads out on the floor and says do me. I'm five feet away and the smell hits me. I say let me go to the bathroom first and I end up puking from the smell. A guy I met at a bar weeks before invited me over to watch some movies. 
I was extremely horny, extremely drunk and extremely bleeding out of my V. He made a move on me, I said I'd love to, but it's the wrong time of the month for it. He just shrugged and said I shouldn't worry, he likes that kind of thing. Cue to him flinging a soaked up tampon out of my V, splattering blood everywhere in the process. The sex was good. The murder scene after not so much. Definitely wouldn't agree again. Dated the most incredible and insane dude years ago, who would just whip tampons right out, didn't care. Would even put fresh ones back in afterwards like it was nothing. Great relationship, sadly had to break up, because he kept dreaming I was trying to beat him to death with a six-foot frozen fish, and would fight back in his sleep. But hey, good times till then. Not me, but a friend. He drove to another city to lose his virginity. He was up all night with the girl, so he fell asleep on the ride home. Totaled his car. He told his parents he was staying at my house overnight. So it was awkward conversation when he had to call his parents to explain why he totaled his car about 100 miles from home. He actually did get laid. He said it wasn't worth it. For those reading, there is no shame in pulling over to get a nap in. Never understood why people risk it, I had to do it on a 12-hour road trip, about hour 8 I was feeling tired, where I was having to force my eyes to stay open. Pulled over to a rest stop. Parked near the back texted my parents taught I was going to be running a few hours late, and took a two-hour long nap. <laughs> Using the twin precussion handheld back massager on my dick. NGL it felt really fucking good. But it left a lingering tender feeling that had me walking funny for a bit. Happened when I was but a wee mid-teen. A stripper let me jack off in front of her once. That and another time I fucked a hamburger. When I was about 12 to 13, I had just learned about sex. One day I was super horny and was playing with my dad's back massager. I quickly realized that it felt really good to press it on my dick. I took it into my bedroom and went to town. My mom was walking by and heard the noise, so she just let herself in. Needless to say things were weird after that for a bit, and she hid the massager. In my early teen years, I accidentally made my clit burn using Vicks Vaporub that was supposed to give it a tingling sensation, I watched way too much BDSM, and got ideas. I was in immense pain and was lying spread out under cold water to try and make it stop, and I couldn't tell my extremely religious parents or they would have freaked out. Late to the game and this will get buried but. I knocked up my ex-wife one month after our divorce was final. Fucked my landlord. He lived in the same building on the floor below me with his ex fiance It was actually pretty fun until he started monitoring when I was home and knocking on my door when he knew I was home alone. Had to put an end to that real quick. My only regret is not getting a discount on rent. Not sure if this counts but. Was about to do it with a guy and discovered we had no condoms. Decided to drive across town to his place, since he had some. Got in a, minor, not our fault, car accident on the way there. Ended up at the cop station to report it instead of banging. <laughs>